Are you a notary that's struggling to get leads for your business? Well, you're not alone. I mean, I'm struggling to get leads for my business as a not- as a as a signing service, and I've I recently did a poll on TikTok that a bunch of notaries chimed in and they said the number one hiccup in their business is getting new leads. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you some tools that I use in my business for outreach and that is attracting new leads to my business. So let's go. Let's get into it. The goal for any notary business is that you attract leads because you don't have to pursue what you can attract. And the way that you attract leads is by being consistent on social media so that so that prospects can see you so that they get to know, like and trust you. Okay. And you have to be consistent on social media and on different platforms. So whatever platform you prefer, LinkedIn, TikTok, Instagram, threads. Uh, I mean, I mean, there's, there's so many different options to choose from, but you could choose whatever you prefer and stick to that platform because our prospect is on every platform. Okay. And I know that sometimes consistency could be a problem because, you know, we're road warriors. We always at closings. We're always out trying to meet new prospects and we always on the road. So posting could be a problem. So number one, you should probably document instead of trying to post like a specific content. I mean, document your way to a signing document at a signing, do different things. So that way you can consistently post content out there. Um, but you should definitely try to utilize some type of automation, right? And then, um, I have videos and, um, I always have a course about AI automation that you can look into. Um, and I've been using it in my business and my engagement has skyrocketed on multiple platforms right now because I'm consistently putting out content out there and it's resonating with people. Okay. It takes time for the, for the wheel to start rolling, but once it starts rolling, People are starting to engage and um, the leads is the, is the lifeblood of any business, especially our notary business. So we have to be intentional about pursuing leads and attractive leads, like I said. So I'm going to show you a tool that I use for my business. And that's been mind blowing and definitely ch- changed the way I do business. And I'm going to show it to you right now. So the tool that I use for my business is called Apollo.io. They've been kind enough to sponsor this show. So look in the show notes, you'll see a link so that you can start your free trial. Use my link. You support your boy if you use my link. So please uh, use the link that's in the uh, show notes below. But Apollo.io is a very robust and powerful tool. Um, It allows you to do outbound sales prospecting and it ties into LinkedIn and um, your websites and your your web browser. So that way, whenever you see a prospect online, you can kind of grab that person's name and extract their email and begin your prospecting that way. All right. Um, It also has links to your calendar and your email platform. So that way you can tie uh, meetings to your calendar. So that way you don't miss it. Um, It also, as far as pricing, um, it's pretty reasonable when it comes to price. Let's go to the pricing. And it's again, it's free to start. And I would recommend you start with a free trial. Um, It gives you a lot for free. Um, but then it goes all the way up to, you know, $80. Actually, this is the yearly cost, but if you do the monthly cost, it's about a hundred dollars a month. I'm on the professional plan, but you can start with the free plan again, using the link below. Okay. One thing I do like about Apollo is that they have training. Um, this, I took this training that they have and it's free to use. Um, it's free to use, even if you're not on Apollo, but it teach, it taught me so much about email and how to approach it, which I never thought about before I took to the, to the fact of the point that imagine being very personable with your email, instead of doing like a mass email that you send the same template to every person is, is you can customize emails specifically to that person so far as going as finding out what school the person went to and the school that they went to, you find out their mascot, right? The school's mascot. And then you cater all of that information into your, into your email copy. So let's say, for example, somebody went to Boston University and the name of the mascot was, I don't know, Plato. I don't know the name. Of, I don't know the name of the, the mascot for Boston University. But then you would tie that into your email, like the subject line. You could say, um, when I go to sales, when I when I go to closings, I don't play like Plato. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. With, the, with this course that they teach you on how to do everything on how to, how to, how to, um, 
tailor your emails to that specific person is is mind blowing. I never thought about it before, and that's kind of what attracted me to Apollo because they did more than just say, "Hey, this is a tool that you can use to do to do blast emails," but this is it's, it's more of an art to doing it, and they and they they, they bring in experts from different um, companies to speak. And what their best practices is, but you know, I encourage you to go to the, the Apollo.io Academy. All right. That's just a side note. All right. All right. So now let's 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 jump in. So I'm going to log in. So that way we can um set up an account together. Okay. So I already have my own account. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up an account like I'm new. All right. So let's just sign up together. And again, it's free. So I'm gonna sign up with my Google account. Oh, accept the terms. And we're gonna go through this together. All right, so let's just sign up with my email. Continue. All right, and I'm in. All right, so, oops, this took me to the academy. Oh, let's see what is. All right, so it's, it's taking me to um, through a tutorial on it. So I'm going to just skip the tutorial, but you should definitely, when you sign up for the first time, you should go to the tutorial. It's going to teach you everything that you need to know about the platform. And, um, it's, it's, it's pretty robust. So they go through this whole onboarding, onboarding, uh, process on how you set up everything. But, um, so you just definitely go through that. But one thing I do want to show you is a sequence. So these sequences is, 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 is pretty robust. Okay. So once you create a sequence, um, you could be able to tie this back into what I'm going to show you later is through LinkedIn. So when you find a prospect online, you could tie them into these, these different, um, sequences that you create and in these sequences, it'll nurture that, 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 um, that prospect. So I use LinkedIn a lot and to search for title companies and real estate professionals and attorneys. Uh, and then I'll just tie them into my specific sequence. So I'll show you how to build a sequence right now. Okay, so I'll comply. And these are the, the options that you have. You can do something that's pre-formatted template. You can start from scratch or you can use AI. And the AI is pretty good. So let's go through the AI assistant and they're gonna ask you a series of questions. What's the name of the company? Uh, let's put uh, closers. All right, what's the, what's the customer's pain point? So your customer's pain, what is your customer's pain point? So if you, a title agency, um, let's say, um, not title agencies, not being able to find a notary for a last minute. For last minute closing. So title agency is not being able to find a notary for a last minute closing. What's the value proposition? Um, I can say we can find a notary for you. Then okay. What's the call to action? Let's uh schedule a call. What's the call to action? The company overview. So this is where you put your company overview. Say um, you know, we are national. Signing service, national notary signing service. For you, it will obviously be be different, and it all depends on what your business and where you're located. So you could say, you know, um, we're we're uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a national, I'm a loan signing agent based in Florida, or you know, I'm a notary signing agent based in Georgia or California. You could just put your company overview. And go from there. All right. And, and you build it out. I should have notary. Other actions. So I'll just leave this for now. I'm just trying to do this quickly just to get through the video. Okay. So let's, let's create a new sequence. So what's going to do now is AI is going to take that information and build up. It's going to build a customized email campaign for you. Right. So you need a notary ASAP first name. And what it does, what I, what I love about this is that it says on um, the Apollo AI personalization opener. So what? The AI is going to do what Apollo AI is going to do. It's going to search 
and try to find some information about that specific prospect. Okay. So if you find them on LinkedIn, it's going to look at their LinkedIn profile. It's going to say, Hey, congratulations on winning such and such award or congratulations on 20 years in business, things like that specific to that prospect. So it kind of softens, softens their hesitancy to, to read the rest of the email, right? Cause they say, okay, this person knows a little bit about me. So maybe this person actually knows me. Right. And it says, well, ever been stuck without a notary for a last minute closing? I can be reach. I, I can be, a, it, sorry, it can be a real headache at 24 seven closes. We've got a swift solution. We provide national notary signing services and, and it goes on and on in there. Right. And then in, in, four days later, they'll set up another one. So it says, and it says, um, hey, first name, I understand finding a notary for a last minute closing can be tough at 24 seven closures. We can connect you with the notary within five minutes. So that's, so they included what my, what my um, value proposition is, right? And then on the seventh day, it sends them another email. So we can say, we can put this as, we can save the sequence. And what we can do after that is we can add things to the sequence. So what I like is say, for example, you want to throw in a phone call in here. So you want to call them on the, f the first or second day. Say you want to follow them or send a request to them on LinkedIn. So you can add them on LinkedIn or you can create specific action, things like that. So you can add, you can kind of tweak this. You can use the automation as your, as setting the groundwork, but then you can add different elements to it as well. So, right. They did the three email campaign. You can add some more automations and you can kind of play with this. What I, what I did is, um, after taking, after taking the, the, um, the, the Apollo.io uh, course and looking at their best practices, I included that in some of my um, emails and, and to figure out what's the best time of the day to reach out to them. What is what, what, how many emails you should send. You should definitely go into that course or just look online and see whatever the best practices is, practices are and implement that in your outbound campaign. Again, nothing is going to be attracting people to you because a lot of my business that come from people that found me online, but as when you're starting off initially, no one knows you. So you're going to kind of want to do some kind of prospecting, some kind of outbound. And this is a good tool to start with. Okay. All right. So that's just the foundation. Once you start, um, building on this, then, uh, you'll start seeing a lot of things pre-filled. But one thing I did, I do want to show you is the search functionality. So with the search functionality, you can kind of build your avatar, if you will. And of course, you're going to want to, you know, watch this video and, and, and follow best practices. But what you can do here is you can search for, for people. So say, for example, I want to search for title officers. And then I could, I could, oh, that's a, oh, that's a job title. Actually, let's do it this way. Uh, title officers. All right. Title officers. And then I want to. Um, say I'm located in Florida. Say I'm a Florida man. Okay. Florida man. I'm a Florida man. So let's go Florida, Florida, U S boom. Right. And then you, it, if you could like, say I'm in, oh, say I'm in Miami, Florida. All right. So let's, let's drill it down to, um, city, uh, Miami, Florida. All right. I'm in Miami. I'm a Florida man in Miami, Florida, looking for title, title offices, offices. And then I could even drill it down so like if you work with a, a title agency that has a thousand employees that may be too big for you to go after so let's say if you want to go for a title agency that's smaller so under 50 under 50 employees right so you're trying to find that and let's just start there see what we come up with let's say save search um so let's see this let's see here florida man maybe florida title officers you know what? let's actually add something else. There we go. All right. So here we go. So the search came back and these are some title, these are some title officers in Florida, right? And you can see that for the quick actions, you can um, access their email. Whenever you see a green check next to it, that means that that person's email was already verified uh, um, through Apollo. And if you see a question mark, that means that they don't uh, necessarily know. What I like about this is if you click on um, the LinkedIn, You'll, if you click on LinkedIn, they'll show the, the company. Let's let's just go to one. Let's just click, click on, let's click on Bruce. Okay. So once you click on Bruce, we can, if we click on this, we can access his email and phone number. Um, but then we, it could also take us to his, to, to Bruce's LinkedIn page. So when we click on that, it'll go to LinkedIn. 
and it'll show us Bruce, right? And it'll just uh, see all Bruce's information. We see we'll see world class speaker, OD, ODE management contract. Uh, what's his title? Uh, let's see, Bruce speaks conferences with the trigger. Da, da, da. So um, I'm not sure if Bruce was a good example because I don't see Bruce as being. Let's go back. A title agency. So let's go back. Maybe that was his past history. So let's see. What can we find? Hmm. Uh, let's see. I just can go out here. Let's see the filters. Miami. Oh, you know what? My fault. I took out title agency. <laughs> Came out. That's what I was wondering. Title. Title. Title officer. Let's add that. And let's add escrow officer, maybe. Okay, my fault. So I actually removed title officer. All right, so title officer, escrow officer. Um, let's see, um, escrow, escrow assistant. All right, so these four, these these um, these four people came up. But let's see. Um. The Miami floor. I mean, because the, the company sizes are small, but let's just let's just go to one for example. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to Sabrina, Sabrina Grant. Okay, so Sabrina Grant, we can click on LinkedIn. Get out of here, Bruce. We don't need you. <laughs> Shout out to Bruce. All right, so Sabrina, uh, when we go to Sabrina, so we can connect with her. We can see she's a title officer. She's been there for two, two, almost three years. Two, two years and eight months. Uh, she has a lot of title. She's been a, a different uh, title agencies. She went to Florida State University, um, and she will probably be a good prospect if we're um, if we are located in, in in Florida, okay, in Miami, Florida. We can even go to her company, um, Lotus National Title, and then we can go to their uh, LinkedIn page, and we can kind of learn more about the company, and then we can send her an email. I'm not sending her an email, but um, yeah, we could send we could we could we could send her an email. But I'm, I'm <laughs> what I'm saying is we could look at uh, Lotus National Title and we can get some information about the title. We can uh, maybe get a link here, go to their website, and kind of do our due diligence on title agency. And as you can see, it's like a one-page website. So we did choose to do companies that's under 50 employees. So it could be um, just like a one-person or two-person team. So if we go here. A way to actually see that if you go to um the LinkedIn page and you click on people you can see how many people are registered with the company and then we can see like it's like five four people okay so so sabrina is a, a title officer there then we have amber who runs the, who looks like she's she runs the place brianna and carmen so for for it's a lady it's, it's girl power over there okay cool so that's just that's just um um scratching the surface of what El Palo can do. We chose a small um, demographic of of prospects. But if we go back to the search, let's see. Uh, I lost the search. I didn't save it. But but you but you get the idea. But one thing I also do want to show you on LinkedIn. Once you hop on LinkedIn, this is my LinkedIn page and you do a search. So let's see. Let's do a search. Let's search for escrow officer. Okay. And once we here, click on people. In LinkedIn and Apollo pops up right here. So then we can start, we can say select all, and then we can um, save everyone that's selected, and then we can add them to a list, and then we can add them to a specific campaign. So that way, all those people will get added to the campaign. Apollo will then check for the email to make sure that the emails are valid. And if the emails are valid, then it will send out um, emails to all of these prospects, okay? And then it'll put them in the campaign. So say so you said day one, we send them an email. Day two, uh, we'll, we'll call them. Day three, we'll follow them on LinkedIn. Day four, we'll send them another email and then you'll just set up your campaigns that way. And this is rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And you do this every day and eventually you'll have a, a, a pipeline of people that you are nurturing, okay? All right, so one thing you will have to do on Apollo to get to, to add the plugin is that um, you're going to have to download the Apollo plugin. They have a a plugin that's linked to um, to Google Chrome. So it's a Google Chrome, a Google Chrome plugin that you just add to the 
add your add a, add it there, and on every website that you go to. So if you go to like a title officer's um, website, I think I have mine turned off. Let me see if I turn it back on. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I turn it back on. Oh, I, it, it is on. So all right, so it's here. So look, boom. So I have it right here. So on, you see this uh, this little tab that comes up for the when the website comes. If you click on this, what it'll do is you can save this company. And then you can start looking up insights. You can see what their intent is. It'll kind of get a gauge of the if if that company like, buys a lot of products. So you can see that that company purchases a lot. It'll, it'll pull up different insights. It'll pull up the different employees so that you can find it. So say you don't have a LinkedIn account. I mean, you better have a LinkedIn account. <laughs> but if you don't have a LinkedIn account, you could just go on different title agencies' websites um, and, and do this. So let's see. Who's another one? Let's see. Stuart. Um, title. I'm not sure what their website is to a title. Title. I know they're a big player, right? Stuart Title. So let's just open up Stuart Title's website. And if we go to like, uh, let's see, contact us maybe. Um, right. I'm trying to see if there's a. They're not going to show. Um, the different. Right, so they're not show, they're not gonna show like different employees that work there, but all right, so you'll see the Apollo tag, Apollo uh, tab that came up. On on this tab, you can then um search them on LinkedIn, Facebook, this one you can even pull up Twitter and pull up their Twitter account, and then you can kind of um or X, right? Um pull up the X account and then you can follow them and uh do different things. So it's pretty robust, this um Apollo that IO2. Again, you can use a link in the bio to sign up for free and play around with this. If you use like a uh, software like Calendar, Calendarly, you don't need to use Calendarly anymore um, because within Apollo, you can just use go to meetings and then you can set up, add your calendar to this. And once you add your calendar to it, um, once you add your calendar to it, you, you don't need to use Calendarly anymore because they give you a link that you can use and you can send to prospects and then they'll automatically come there as well. And I can go on and on and on about the different um, features that's on here that you can use, but I definitely recommend that you go through the training and you can um, use the different um, products and different tools that they have on Apollo.io. So on the next video, I'm going to discuss once you get the prospect's attention and once the first thing that they're going to do is they're going to look you up and they're going to see, they're going to try to look at your online presence. They're going to look at your Google page. They're going to look at different things about you. So you have to be findable there as well. This is just a first, the first piece that you need. Um, this is that you planting the seed, but once the seed is planted and the prospect is looking into you and trying to see who you are, you need to have a presence. And then we'll talk about that on the next video. I hope that this video was useful. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.